November 30, 2022 was the day ChatGPT was released. And I'm sure when we will look back on that date in a few years, it will be clear that the world utterly changed on that day. We have unleashed something that will eventually outgrow, outsmart and may outlive us. AI will disrupt many parts of our lives, including and especially healthcare. And while many scientists and experts are cautious or outright terrified, I remain optimistic about where we are heading. Here is why. I'm Dr. Bertola Meshko, and you're watching The Medical Futurist. The concerns about AI are already echoed in tech and academia. Tristan Harris, director of the Center for Humane Technology, warns that AI could affect 80% of the US workforce if there is an arms race with the technology, and a swift implementation could destabilize societies. This fear led to the ban of ChatGPT by countries like China, Russia, and unexpectedly by Italy too, temporarily. In other countries where banning would be more complicated, experts like Elon Musk and Max Tegmark called for a six-month pause on all AI development to re-evaluate the risks and benefits. But the warning that sent shivers down my spine came from Yuval Noah Harari, who said that he believed AI hacked the operating system of human civilization and he's not sure we can survive it. But why the fear is guaranteed and we need the watchdogs to push for the regulation and the responsible use of such awesome power, let's take a look at another side of the story, a side brimming with optimism. It's essential to remember that groundbreaking technologies often induce fear, but with time, regulatory bodies are catching up and adapting. AI is no different. Legal and ethical frameworks will evolve, guiding AI's responsible application. Regulatory bodies such as the FDA in the United States have been able to regulate AI-based medical technologies, and there are already more than 500 of them in their official database. Even medical associations have started to release their guidelines. The World Health Organization projects a shortfall of 10 million healthcare workers by 2030. This crisis is a systemic issue, but AI can be a game changer, mitigating these issues by automating routine tasks, aiding diagnostics, and providing virtual care. The gap between how many physicians we can train and how many people require medical help will keep on growing. Only a technology like AI could help fill in that gap, as apparently we cannot do it on our own or take virtual care. The pandemic has already propelled the rise of telemedicine, and as people embrace virtual consultations and digital health tools, we are about to get used to this new norm. Due to the doctor shortages, it's a luxury already to be able to meet a physician with any kind of health issues. Therefore, the demand for AI-enabled healthcare services will skyrocket. Even large language models such as ChatGPT can facilitate doctor-patient communication, offer personalized healthcare advice, and predict potential health risks. And I'm not even talking about approved technologies that can analyze health data from afar or assess an individual's cancer risk using radiology reports. But most importantly, early disease diagnosis personalized treatment and precision medicine can finally become a reality. A Stanford University study demonstrated that their AI algorithm can detect skin cancer as accurately as dermatologists by analyzing images of skin lesions. This algorithm can potentially be deployed in smartphone apps, making early detection accessible to everyone. Researchers are also certain that soon AI can already predict cardiovascular diseases, like atrial fibrillation and heart failure by examining the genes in a patient's DNA. And once AI is fed with our genetic information, it can easily look for any other preventable problems that we are exposed to. As for the development of new drugs, companies like Insilico Medicine are using AI and machine learning to predict which molecules could become potential drugs. Their AI system, GentRL, has already designed a novel drug candidate in just 46 days significantly shortening the typical timeline that can spend years. I can't help but be excited and optimistic about what AI brings to clinical trials. It can even bring up on us the era in which we stop testing drugs on patients. Healthcare professionals who fear for their job should be at ease too. The Moravec paradox suggests that tasks we deem complex, like high-level reasoning, require very little computational power 
while tasks we consider simple demand enormous computational resources. In the context of healthcare, this means that we are likely to see algorithms proficient in analyzing millions of CT scans long before we see robots capable of physically dressing up patients or taking the stairs. AI will aid, not replace us in healthcare. It will augment our abilities, not diminish our roles. A strong enough level of scientific understanding of AI can be reached. It means physicians could understand how the technology works without the programming details to gain trust towards AI-based systems. This is what medical associations call explainable AI. Besides this, the evidence is also growing through peer-reviewed studies and clinical trials to back the claims of AI-based technologies and their makers. To sum these reasons up, the release of ChatGPT represents a milestone because it finally allowed millions of physicians and patients to feel what it is like using AI. ChatGPT was their first step to implementing AI into the practice of medicine. As we navigate the new era of human history, let's remember that AI is a desperately needed tool for health professionals and patients alike. While we need to remain cautious and demand regulation oversight, we can also harness the power of AI to create more robust, responsive and resilient healthcare systems. That's why I'm so optimistic about AI's role in the future of healthcare. Cheers. If you like this video, please subscribe below to get notified about every single new video we come up with. And also please go to medicalfuturist.thinkific.com where you will find our two courses, the Digital Health course and our newest one, Introduction to Artificial Intelligence in Medicine and Healthcare. See you there.